Hey everyone, Oath Alliance here with my very first own Oathcast. Yes, it's me making a podcast for all of you to listen to if you really want to. Today's topic is why I'm probably never going back to PAX. Um, specifically PAX Prime, actually. So, as most of you already know, I went ahead and went to PAX Prime in Seattle. Yep, up in the Great Northwest. I actually live in Oregon, about th- about four hours below, so around Portland area esque. Not going to give out too many details there, but anyways. So I got well first. I missed actually buying the normal tickets, so I actually bought scalp tickets for four hundred and fifty dollars. Oh boy. That was expensive. Um, then I had to drive up there for about three, or eh, it's about four hours drive. That was fun. At least I was on the interstate, right? <laughs> Anyways, so drive all the way up there. I'm staying with my cousins. Uh, you know, guy got up early. Guy go to their light rail, ride the light rail for almost an hour to get to the comp. Well, nearby the convention center to go to the convention. Anyways, so went there. There was neat stuff, I, I suppose. You know, lots of games. But, oh boy, the crowds. It's, it's sort of like visiting Disneyland, you know? It's like, oh, mommy, 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 I want to go on the ride. Ride's six hours long. It's like, you know, <laughs> you don't have the fast pass in this, so, you know, you don't rush to the game you want to go to. You'll have to wait maybe an hour. Or they close the line. Uh, there is Evolve there. And that line closed about 30 minutes after it, you know, the doors opened, people got in, so no playing any of those games. Anyways, another problem was, it's like, you go up to these people and you're like, hey, I want to converse with you about the said product you have here. Do you know anything about it? Uh, well, I can give you PR stuff because I'm being paid for PR stuff. I am a PR man, which is what it seemed like half the people were, you know, doing. Uh, heaven forbid also that most games were not like PC centered and I'm I'm a PC person but like well they had uh, Ubisoft was there and they had their what is it Far Cry 4 Far Cry 4 yeah Far Cry 4 so they have Far Cry 4 there say that five times fast anyways Far Cry 4 there and you can sit down and you can play it, but honestly, when it comes down to it, it's like, you know, what am I, what am I doing? Because it's on a controller. I'd never use a controller to play Far Cry. I'm a PC guy, you know. I'm sure I've got an Xbox, I've got Wii and stuff, but don't really play on them. I I play on the PC. So you know, no way I can really gauge the game how good it's going to be because it's got a controller attached to it, but. Uh, not including the fact that there's this huge line 90% of the time. There's actually, interestingly enough, not a very long line ever for uh, Assassin's Creed Unity, which I'm surprised with. Anyway, so lots of crowd, lots of noise. Kind of the opposite of what I tend to like. I mean, sure, I'll go into crowds, but, you know, unless they're all s- saying my name and saying, oh, we love you, then, you know, it's sort of like, oh boy, another giant crowd you have to kind of maneuver your way through this labyrinth of bodies while well, everyone's like oh we gotta go over here so you get these waves moving you gotta dodge them all as you sort of move through them with your things anyways so that was a lot of time i never went to any of the speakers at all um it was nice to hang out with with the one group of devs i actually cared about which was uber but none of the other devs that i really liked or had kickstarter for were there i mean you know what oblivion wasn't there even though they've got two games coming up um sauropod studios who's making castle story they weren't there uh all these other studios i'm not going to go list them all off anyways but none of them were there so it was a great disappointment because it's like half the people i expected to see weren't there which i wanted to really just say you know hi guys i back to you so (laughs) You should thank me because I'm the re- one of the reasons why you exist. Well, me and 200,000 other people, or however many, mostly like 20,000 or so. Anyways, but yeah, so just 
kind of trying to go through things. I, I mean, there were some couple of few games, you know, got some swag, but let's face it, it most of the swag I got were like keychains. No, even yeah, keychain. Uh, no, not keychains. These are lanyards. Yeah, these lanyard things. You know, those those they give out like candy. You know, they're like here, have a free lanyard. You probably already have fifteen already, but here, have another one. Or or here, have this pin. Like, oh, great to to go on the lanyard. Ooh. Anyways, but there were cosplayers, but I mean, it's like, eh. There were all these different things, but for for the most part, it it just didn't. It felt like well, a convention. It it really did. And there wasn't any real time to converse with any of the devs and anything. I really, really want to engage the devs, but there weren't really a lot of devs there for the most part. And I, I think it might have just been PAX Prime, um, because I've heard that, you know, the PAX Prime costs are... I was trying to whistle there. Uh, through the roofs. So I'm guessing it was just PAX Prime that, you know, made it so that all of these different groups didn't come, but it's kind of a big shame. Anyways, but, yeah, and for the most part, just carrying around things and the amount of money I spent for it all, for what I got out of it, it was it was a nice experience, and I think, you know, if you have dreams of going to PAX Prime, go ahead, go once, um, and then decide for yourself, but me, unless I get invited by someone specifically or I have an actual purpose to go, like, to, to join up with people, or I'm asked to do something there or anything like that, I'll probably give it a pass. Uh, it was a is a nice place to visit. Wouldn't want to live there. Wouldn't want to probably go there again unless I actually had a reason to visit, because it was it was just sort of a madhouse of people, and you now it 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 didn't really interest me all that much. I mean, uh, yeah, it it just felt really impersonal because there's so many people there, and I'm one of those people who really likes to get in there and say, "Hey, game devs, you know, great job what you're doing. Hey, want to talk about your game a little bit, engage them, but you know." When they're either busy talking to thousands of hungry fans, or they're just PR people who have absolutely no idea, you know, then it's kind of just makes me sad, you know, and cry a little bit, do tears down the side of my face. So, anyways, probably won't be <laughs> visiting PAX, which is really all I wanted to say and give some of the reasons why. Um, if you ever have a chance to visit PAX, at least PAX Prime, you know, go for it. You know, if, but. I probably won't be going next time. Anyways, time for my shameless plug. You can find me at Oath Alliance on Twitter, or go ahead and subscribe. And also, you can find me on Patreon and give me money to do stupid videos and things like that. Anyways, thanks for listening, guys, and this is Oath Alliance in Oathcast. Stay strong. Game on.